Hi, my name is Dave Gallagher. I'm going to show you how to mod the Malcolm rig. Lots of different ways you can do it, but um, I guess to make it easier, I'm going to load in the pickers first. Uh, instead of creating a reference for Malcolm, I just opened them up. Just file open, open the, the master file. Now I'm going to grab his, um, his picker files here. I went to file and load the picker, and school picker, and did file open. I'm gonna grab his um, picker files. There's a body, a face, and the outfits. Now the issue here is that we don't have a namespace because it's not referencing, it's just um, opened up. So we wanna change the namespace and all these to um, just the colon. So you have to go through change namespace and go to colon, go to the body, change namespace, colon. This isn't, a great way to sort of animate because not all the scripts will work, but it's it's fine for, for rigging. It gets you most of the way there. So if you come over here, we have all the hairstyles and we'll just for now, maybe turn them off. So um, the first thing is that you can use the rig to, to make changes. You know, you can um, make edits by say broadening the shoulders, just gonna, no, move them a little wider. We can use um, we can use scaling along the rig. Probably in this case, we just want to use uh, X and Z, not Y axis axes. Come over here to the body. You can see the different uh, controls, and we can sort of change scaling. Also, we could um, you know we can scale different parts of the rig. We could scale the cheeks. We can scale the eyes or move them around to different different position. Um, so when you're making a rig that's fully functioning, you don't really want to do this and leave non-zero values in the controls. Uh, um, but when you're making a mod, it's mostly just for you and the you know any users understand that it's just a special scenario. So um, you you might have things like values on the controls. Normally you wouldn't get values in the controls. You, this would be zero and anything would be beneath that or in the hierarchy. One thing you wanna make sure is never scale anything um, that's not uniform, uniformly scaled. Like don't scale it like this because everything below is gonna get shearing, the possibility of shearing and it could create a real problem for the rig. Um, yeah, so basically you want to do shearing, uh, scaling. Um, yeah, the lower face, you could probably do a little non-linear scaling. That'd be maybe the only place I would do a little bit of that, but there's a real danger for shearing. Um, all right, then we'll just go back to the default here. Pretty soon you run out of, you know, possibilities. You can, some people have done things like, oh, I want to flatten his chin. Okay, so we grab the, the chin controller right here and, uh, you know, move it up, scale it. You know, in this case, by the way, there's no children to the chin, so actually you can non-uniformly scale, like just some scale X. There's nothing below this in the hierarchy, so it's, it's safe to do. And we're just finishing up the NM School contest, and you can see some great um, um, examples of modding. So this one has these this great um, uh, clothing added. You know that's that's really fantastic. But we don't, we're not going to show that in this video. There's another video that goes over that a little bit, but um, it also does cloth simulation, which we're not going to show here. You'd have to do that yourself. Um, but uh, what I wanted to show is that you can you can modify the face and um, really make him look great. I think in this one here, I'm, I'm going, going to show you he looks better than he does uh, in the default. You know, this one right here. So it's Piers Shepherd Rose. Good job, Piers. And um, I know you. This is a this is a Malcolm mod that looks better than Malcolm. So I don't know what all he's changed, but um, it looks like he has. Uh, you know, scaled the the chin, and then um, made some modifications to the nose, and then puffed out the eyes. So he's probably gone, gotten these. 
and use this uh, squint. That was my guess. I don't know exactly. But, um, and then it's, if you want to move the head down, you can just grab the control and move the head down. And then also the, the other neck control right here, like this next one here, move these down. You know, that's another thing. I find that um, one way, the best way to make um, uh, mods is to have a design in mind. So draw a design or um, get a design that um, the kind of look that you want to, to achieve. So um, I looked at a few, I looked at a few designs. I just happened to see the soul trailer for the new uh, Pixar movie coming out. So I thought, what if, well, let's just give it a try. Um, <laughs> so let's, let's try to turn uh, Malcolm into this look. So a few things to note first is that in order to change key points of the rig, like where his shoulders are, um, you know, where the neck is, where the hips are, the elbow, that's not something you want to change in the model. You have to change that in the rig, like I was showing you with moving the shoulders, with moving the head down. You can change the length of the arms with right here. You can go into arm length, upper and lower, change the length of the arms, change the length, length of the legs. Um, when it comes to the nose and the face and all that, this, a lot of this can, you can just move around in modeling and it will probably work. Probably not break the rig too bad. You have to be careful with the mouth though. There's a, just a high deformation area. With the lips, you can move them up and down a little bit um, in modeling. Uh, but mostly you want to leave them kind of similar. Um, there are some things you can do like uh, with the face. You can make the lips a little wider like this. You can create a pretty different look for him just out of the box, okay? That is something you can do in the rig or you can do in, in sort of the modeling process that I'm going to show. So, you know, the, you have these points on the, on the rig where we can change things, but the big way to make changes is to change the modeling. And uh, like I said, you got to leave those points alone that um, will kind of disrupt the rig because what's going to happen is if you, if you move the points of the shoulder up here without moving the rig up there, then it's going to fold and collapse when you try to use the rig. So there's only so much you can do, which is why it's best to make rigs specific for that design. But the thing with a mod is that it's kind of for limited use. It's like just for one shot, um, not the same kind of heavy usage requirements of a full rig. So what I'm gonna show now is how to mod more heavily, okay? So first thing we wanna do is turn off this R on the layer geo, and that means we can now select the uh, topology. Okay, so now we can select this, make sure that uh, show uh, selection highlighting was on. So we can grab it and we know that we have it selected. Next thing we wanna do is turn off the um, skin cluster and the blend shape. So we're gonna dial that to zero, dial this to zero. Now, um, looks like I've done some change there, but somehow I, I messed with that, but good. So these are now off. And so I'm gonna duplicate it. Then I'm gonna drag, select all these uh, attributes for our new duplicate and right click and go um, unlock. Then I'm gonna move it over like this. Whoops, um, here we go. So I just drag it over to the side. Now we can give this a name like uh, body upper, let's say we can call this uh, soul or something like that um, for this smooth. Let's say we're gonna try to do this. And so what we're gonna do kind of is re invert you know, Malcolm's design, which is Malcolm's heavy to thin or thick to thin and then thin. With this one, it's, it's inverted like that. It's great design, really fantastic look. So let's call this uh, soul. Now we're going to select this and then shift select this. Then we're going to go into rigging and do deform and uh, edit blend shape, add, and go into this little dialog box right here. Select node, and then we're going to go to um, blend shape body upper. Okay, then we're gonna hit apply and close. Now when we come over to blend shape body upper, go down to the bottom of the list, we'll see this new one that I'll then drag to one. We'll leave that on. 
And whatever we do to the model here will then kind of show up in, uh, over here. And, um, but we have to turn them back on. Remember we turned them off, so let's turn them back on. Turn the uh, skin cluster back on. And then we can, um, you know, whatever we do in the model. So uh, now you can just use any modeling tool to edit uh, the look, okay? So I have previously done some modeling on this to make it look more like that. Okay, so I brought in this uh, model. I, I wasn't very careful. Looks like I got it kind of jagged and stuff, but I don't, won't worry about that. Just do as good a job as, uh, as you feel is necessary for this. And we're going to do select this one, select that one, and do um, the same thing. Okay. Snake body upper, flying clothes. Okay, so now we have another one. Clicked on it wrong, here we go. Okay. All right, so now we can kind of hide this and hide this, we don't really need that anymore. So over the course of uh, modeling it, I, um, I had scaled the, the eyes down. So, um, but the issue now is that, you know, I can scale the eyeballs, but look, it's also scaling the, the skin along with it. So how do I fix that? Well, there's a great tool in Maya to kind of remove the, um, the blend shape for, no, optimally we don't touch the eye area, okay? But it doesn't really matter that much because we can kind of paint it out, okay? Oh, and now comes an important part. We won't want to save over the master file for the rig. Uh, so we're going to save as, I will just call this uh, soul. I don't know what the character name is, but. Uh, so what we want to do now is remove the eyelid area from this so we can feel free to scale the eyes and bring them into kind of the look for this uh, character. So what we're gonna do is grab, grab this and we're in rigging. We're going to do, let's see, we're gonna do deform, paint weights, blend shape, and then go into here. And then we want to go to the bottom of the list and click on our blend shape. And we want to uh, replace with a value of zero. And then let's go ahead and reflect on X. Okay. So now I'm painting and I'm removing, you know, that model from the blend shape and went a little too far. <coughs> so I'm going to go to add and go to one and add this back in. Like that. And then uh, maybe I'll make the um, a little smaller. Go back to replace with zero. Oh, the, um, <laughs> the reflection in X isn't working that great. So we're gonna turn this off. There we go. Better. Okay. And then we'll just do something like a uh, smooth and we'll just um, make it a little bigger, smooth this. So I don't know if you get this concept, but the idea is that um, we've taken our blend shape, you know, our made the model and taken our blend shape and, and piped it in. But now we don't want it to affect this area. So whatever we paint black, that um, that shape goes away. We could do it with the lips and stuff too, but the rest of it seems to be pretty stable. So now we're gonna just grab these two controls for scaling and just keep scaling them down. We just wanna get this look here. Let me stick this in front. And then move them in a bit or whatever. Yeah, maybe we can be there. Okay, so sometimes when we use the scaling, you know, maybe it scales in a way that isn't really working that great with our model change. So I want to save that, and then I'm going to go and paint that blend shape addition a little bit more. So I'll come in here again, deform, paint weights, blend shape, and um, do smooth.
Okay. Uh, all right. So what we want to do now is just see if it if it works. You know, just uh, use the rig, and um, yeah, you know, it seems to work okay. It's um, not going to be as robust again as a full, you know, custom made rig. But if we're careful about how we do this and follow these guidelines, it will mostly work. Should mostly work. Just gonna test the eyelid a little bit. Yeah, it seems to seems to work okay. Um, brow. It's a little bit uh, messed up here. Maybe I'll just um, check that a little bit. At best case scenario, with the brow, it's uh, modeled a little bit straighter, but. Um, no, this this isn't too bad. What what we have here, and then I don't know if I don't know if this model needs you know changes in the neck or anything like that. Um, I'll also mention that in the place placement node, there's a neck thicken attribute, which you can use too. Again, but now it's kind of done in the modeling, and maybe you want to change his uh, texture or his uh, his color. So he doesn't have a texture applied, but he does have UV, so you're welcome to apply a texture. Um, you can take it into a program like uh, Substance from uh, Algorithmic, Substance Painter, and apply um, textures to them or just paint it in Photoshop or whatever. For now, I'll just go in and uh, go to the material attributes. And I have to do that twice for some reason and just change the color to get the skin color more like our art here, you know, or maybe something like that. Okay, um, yeah, like the eyes aren't quite as close and everything, but anyway, with, with a little work, you can um, get a, a slightly similar look. Um, unless you're careful, again, like the clothes might not, might not work anymore, and you might have to edit the model and the clothes. You can edit the model and the clothes the same way. Uh, a, a quicker fix also is to do this. I'm gonna show another thing you can do, which is literally just grabbing the points and moving them up. <laughs> and then what that does is goes into this tweak node right here. And um, to, if I've set up the tweak nodes correctly, it, it will be robust enough to handle twisting and stuff. Let's see. Let's see if I can. No, so I might have to change the ordering. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So, what we would need to do is go here, in here, select this, and then select this one right here where we can access the, the inputs to that. And go to the tweak, uh, go to all inputs. I want to move the tweak node below the skin cluster. Uh, yeah, I think the optimal order is, uh, you know, skin cluster, then tweak, then blend shape. Uh, and that will mean that you can um, do things like just use the tweak node to move points around. Um, and it should be pretty stable. Okay, so that's another uh, trick. Uh, and then let's go back to this material. And I just want to show the, the place where you would go. It's right here where you go to apply a, um, an image if you wanted to do an image for this, okay? But let's say, you know, you give this more than a few minutes work here and you have a, a, a mod look that you like. We're just gonna save this file and swap it out. So let's say I've already, you know, posed out a, a file with Malcolm in it. And um, we're going to just change the reference now. We're going to go to soul three. Okay. So this took across the um, the shape, but not the scaling in the eye. So I'm going to go back to the other file and see what did I do for the um, the scaling in the eyes. Okay, so I'm going to note that it's 0.6 about. 
So I'll select those, go to 0.68. And um, I'm going to delete that because I don't. So this is already animated with some, some flaring in the eyes. Uh, and so I just lost that uh, scaling, but that's okay. Like you would do this before, right? So maybe it comes like this and uh, the translation 0.03. So we'll go to here, translate 0.03. And then 0.012. 0.012. Okay, maybe I'll just go ahead and delete those keys too. Uh, and then we'll just see, you know, does it does it work? Well, you know, he looks he looks pretty different, right? Like um, we could change the hair to you know get the best hair, maybe. You know, I don't know if we have anything like that sole haircut, but we could just have no hair for the moment. And you can see how what a what a big difference we have in the look. Let's go from that to that. And you know, for the most part, the rig is uh, is kind of holding up. You know, not too bad. So you'd want to to use the rig differently, like. Um, So some things will not be as robust. So maybe you want to come in here, back off from some of this uh, X movement in the brows. So you'd want to come in to, if you'd already animated it like this is, you want to just come in here and, you know, back off the um, X value. Okay. And that's it. And I want to show you one more, but what if we wanted to make them look pretty different? So this is one, um, one way, one, one option. And um, I wanted to show another style that's pretty different and kind of discuss some of the, some of the problems. So this is from Borja Montoro, who is a wonderful character designer um, he's done work in a lot of films. So here's Borja's uh, great design. What if we wanted to make Malcolm look like this? Well, so we can do it sort of. Um, again, like he's going to be very differently proportioned, so it's not optimal at all. So like we'd have to bring his head down, we have to bring his shoulders out. He's a little bit stockier. He's a little shorter in the legs. All those things kind of create some problems, but I just want to show you kind of the boundaries of what you can do. Optimally, it's something that's kind of similar um, body shape wise. So with a rig, we can move the head, we can move the shoulders, we can move uh, the length of the torso and such. But after a while, it creates, uh, you know, problems and stuff. So best case scenario, you have someone that's, we have a design that's uh, somewhat similar in body type. But I want to kind of push the boundaries and show, um, you know, another, another option. So uh, let's see, should we undo? No, I don't think, well, maybe we could undo because I don't think I want the eyes that far apart. So yeah, we'll just undo. Let me get back to the eyes. Oh no, it's, it's kind of run out. Okay, that's fine. We'll just um, reset the eyes and uh, go and turn off that blend shape. Turn off the other blend shape. You see how different it looks. By the way, the one, these red things sticking out the sides are follicles. You just turn those off. Um, so now, what's the process of making it look like that? Okay, so same thing, we're gonna go through. We're going to turn off skin cluster. We're gonna turn off the blend shape, duplicate them off to the side. So I've already made one, so we're going to grab that or made a modeling edit. All right, again, so it's kind of pushing the envelope. It's not, this is by far not the look of him overall. Like I didn't edit the body, give him more musculature, except for a little bit in the neck and the shoulders. But I want to show you kind of what is possible. I could have, you know, keeping those things in the same area, I could have bulked up the, uh, the rest of the body. I had uh, more time, etc. 
but then I would have to rely on the rig to get his head down, to get his shoulders out and that kind of thing. So it's a little bit weird kind of modeling where you're modeling, but you're not modeling the big changes in the proportions of the body. So just modeled it uh, somewhat. And so then well, let's call this, um, let's call this like hipster or something like that. So right click, select that. And we'll add another one in there. We'll just go to blend shape, add, and we'll add specify node, go to blend shape body upper, apply and close. And I wasn't careful in this. I mushed things around and I got the points sort of messed up. Sometimes when you have on, um, um, you know, soft select and, and, and symmetry, it does weird things, but you'd want to do it a little more carefully. And then here's our return on the hipster. Make sure everything else is turned off. I'll just uh, hide that. Now we can do things like, um, you know, move the head down. Maybe you want the head and the neck. Maybe the neck a little more than the head. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. By the way, I wanted to show that if you ever zoom in and you want to get it back to the exact. Um, you know, zoom, then you can use the H key, hotkey. I don't think there's an actual listing in the menus, but it, uh, that's what you use, the H key. Um, so yeah, maybe you want us to use the same thing. Maybe we want to, um, oh, let's go ahead and change this to, it's from Soul, let's change it to, um, oops, stir. So we'll just go ahead and um, paint blend shape and we'll select uh, this one and we'll change to replace to zero, scale it down a little bit. Let's see, let's go a little smaller. Maybe it's a little too small. This ensures that the the rig will be robust and um, the eyelids will work. If this isn't, if the, the eye points are moved then the eyelids might not touch when they have the same value. So that could be a problem. All right, and now, you know, maybe, maybe those scale down too, you know, maybe we go and, um, Select these, scale those down, you know, what have you. But you can start kind of using the, the rig and seeing, you know, if this is going to kind of work. And it mostly does, you know, it's not moving the important things too much that it's going to disrupt the rig function. And the brows are still, you know, similar to what they were. Um, you know, the neck is a little rumpled looking. You don't want to do that a little more carefully on the modeling. But yeah, you know, for the most part, pretty much works. Now you don't want to do new clothing or do the trick I showed earlier because now he's busting out of his shirt. So you want to um, model new clothing. There's another link we're going to include which shows uh, how we did Malcolm, all the outfits and Daniel Arada uh, did copy weights onto clothing to um, grab all the same all the same joints that are controlling um, deforming a part and then skin those things to the same joints and then copy the weights to the new joints. So yeah, maybe you want to give this guy a little more of a tan. Yeah, maybe. Sometimes I have to do it twice. I don't know. Maybe he'll Get a little tan. Now the problem you're going to have more, more than anything is that it might not look good. Like you might pull out and see, decide, you know what, that doesn't look that great. But you know, in the context of a shot uh, where you're in mid shot or whatever, maybe look fine. And then maybe you can use other tricks like, um, you know, scooting down his torso a little bit, scooting down his head and, and you can get a nice appealing uh, look out of them. Okay. So this one's called hipster three. We're going to go into, an animation, the animation file here and switch it out. All right, and here's what we get. 
Looks like we sharpened the lips up too much. We'll just back off of that a bit. Uh, now we have the same sort of like a scaled down eye. So maybe we want to scale those back up a bit. Not that far. <laughs> um, and let's see, what, do we want to move them? Uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe they go there or maybe something in between. Um, and then maybe we'll decide that the teeth are in the wrong place since we probably moved the mouth a bit around. So maybe we just uh, kind of scoot the teeth around. So um, that's, uh, that's a pretty different look for our, our Malcolm, isn't it? So there's another way you can radically change Malcolm's look. And maybe you want to uh, use different hair for him. You know, he's got some interesting hair styles. Lots of different hairstyles you can try. You know, let's do um, greaser hair and then maybe we'll change the material. Get some, get some a little bit more like our hipster guy. Maybe we can add some glasses to him. He does have, somewhere here we've got glasses for him. It's probably in the outfits picker if we come over to outfits somewhere. He has glasses, but they're large. Um, farmer, hunter, cowboy, scientist, here we go, glasses. So you could like, you could scale those glasses, turn them into um, shades, right? And then with the, what I showed earlier, you can, um, you know, edit the hair to better fit the, the body. So hopefully this helps with, um, with your modding of Malcolm for this contest uh, that we're doing. And if it's past the contest that you can do your own mod for your own uh, purposes as well. When you are in this um, an animation scene, then all these picker buttons are are now connected instead of um, instead of right to the colon, they have a namespace. In this case, the namespace is wrong. I don't know why this is wrong, but normally be Malcolm version two o o and then <clears throat> your file name. Okay, but all the buttons will now work. With um, with this new uh, reference that we can now edit, and the nice thing is that they're they're now connected, so you can come in here and make new edits to to this, and uh, save it out, and then just come in here to reference editor and reload it. Talk to you later.